Hey, how's it going, y'all? How's it going? I hope it's going good. This is Vibe High, Maurice Wright. You already know the name of the game, Limitless Life. So this one that uh, we're getting ready to talk about will be a fun one for me because, listen, everybody wants you to fail, okay? Everybody wants you to fail. Why? I don't know. Maybe they didn't achieve all in their life. Maybe they like lived a limited life and well, they wanted you to be limited. Well, maybe they just, you know, didn't really have knowledge. Maybe they didn't have a voice, but it never fails. When you step outside of the box, when you step outside of, you know, the cultural norm, People will tell you all day long that you will fail. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Why should you not listen to them? They don't live your life. Um, they are only focused on the short side. They may be only focused in on the you know short sighted gains as far as what is like their comfortable shell is. But ultimately, I know if you're watching this, you're probably someone a little bit more. You're uh, probably someone who doesn't think in the norm. Because let's face it, if you're really watching videos online and whatnot, you're probably not part of the norm like that. Let's just think about it. There's so much that you can do. There's so much that you can achieve. There's so much that, well, you can create for your life, but you are watching a video. Why? Because maybe you're missing something. Maybe you don't feel confident. Maybe you don't feel like you can achieve. Just maybe, just maybe. You know, I don't know you. I don't know your circumstance, but I can tell you from coming from someone who has been homeless in their life, who has definitely been through the trials and errors of life, you know, people facing and telling me what I can't do and what I can't achieve and what their thoughts mattered more than my opinion. It's it's all irrelevant. It's all irrelevant, okay? If you want to start living a limitless life, okay, should you choose this? Now, understand I'm not promising this to you. I'm not guaranteeing this to you because it's ultimately falling back on you. But um, if you want to live the limitless life, you can't care what people think. You can't care what people say. You can't care about judgments. You can't care about what your friends think. You can't care about no one or nothing other than yourself. Why? Because um, let's think about it. People are only friends and people are really only there for you when you're up. But as soon as the chips go down, as soon as all Rome gets comes crashing, burning down, uh, they'll leave. <laughs> they'll leave. And as soon as they leave, guess who, who is the only person left in your life that you can count on? Yourself. So if it is yourself that is ultimately you the reason why and you should count on, then maybe you should bet on yourself to understand that you can achieve everything that you see in your life. Why? Because listen, we, we know this all along. When the chips are down, everyone is out. But as soon as the chips come around, everyone seems to want to come around. So you might as well just do it for you because at any way between those two catalysts, the people is irrelevant. But what you do, what you choose to be, what you choose to see is ultimately the most prevalent in your life. And it applies to everything across Different verticals, such as if you want to be more fit, you want to learn another task, you want to <laughs> get a promotion at your job, you want to go change the world. It's all dependent on you. Why and how? Well, simply because uh, out of a land of, last I checked, there was 7.9 billion people on this planet. Out of 7.9 billion people on this planet... You don't need to help out a few. You only need to, you know, take advice from a few that maybe could help you out in your particular life, whatever you're trying to achieve. But again, it's all dependent on you. So in your mind, what can you start to tell yourself to, well, get over any sort of 
catalytic uh, limited beliefs such as why you can't achieve. It's amazing. Like I see it all the time. I see it everywhere. Anytime someone wants to go out and do something true for themselves, anytime someone has a plan or goal for themselves, anytime someone has something for themselves, it never fails. There's always someone that's like, oh, you can't, or oh, this is impossible, or oh, 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 you you so wrong for thinking that you can achieve. Like, what? What? I'm wrong for trying to achieve in my life, but yet, what are you doing in yours? You kind of got to think like that because, listen, the winners that we, you know, quote unquote, place the term winners on are people who went outside the norm. Look at Albert Einstein. Look at Thomas Edison. Look at, more recently, your Bill Gates, your Warren Buffetts, your entrepreneurs who have achieved ultra success. They don't care what people think. So neither should you. Look at a lot of the athletes. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Hussein Bolt, um, Conor McGregor, Joey Diaz. I think I said his name right. Is it Joey Diaz or Nate Diaz? But look at them. Just look at them. <laughs> Like, for real, do you think these people care what people think? Look at, like, like really look around. Look at Dr. Seuss. If you know anything about Dr. Seuss, look at him. This guy, all, all he did was create children's books and bam. <laughs> Rhyming at that. Do you think he cares about what people think? Like, do you? So that is why you should probably not. Because let's think about it. Out of this land of 7.9 billion people, everyone's always going to have an opinion of you besides you have an opinion of yourself. Start taking your thoughts, start taking what you say to yourself to face value and realize that, well, you can achieve and you can really make a lot of gracious stuff happen in the most unrealistic times. Like in the unmost, like everyone like tries to focus on what's real, what's real, what's real. But yet everything that's real in our lives stemmed from the mind. So maybe, just maybe, just maybe everything that's real is in the mind. So if everything that's real is in the mind, maybe you should start to realize that uh, if the mind is what creates the real, if I want to achieve for the real, for what people see, then I got to focus in on my mind. You see where I'm going with this? Your mind is the ultimately the creator. Your mind controls your feelings. Your mind controls your actions. Your mind, based off all those, based on those actions, create everything that you have in your life. So now you, the viewer, what can you do to start to tweak your mind or such as think so that you can overcome and you can achieve all that you see in your limitless life. I am Maurice Wright. Thanks for watching. I hope that this video comes to heart because I understand we don't do no scripts. We don't believe in scripts. We don't believe like all this is coming from the dome. All this is coming straight from me because I can only be me so that I can get to you. And if this gets out to one person, guess what happens? I feel good. <laughs> yes so limitless life all day as always vibe high yes i'm trying to work on my symbol for that but vibe high and most definitely stay tuned for the next one